once and for all. Once and for all. And for all. Hey, once or for all. Once and for all. Hello, once and for all. Once and for all. <laughs> all right, so I'm walking down Hawthorne Avenue. Rufus, hey. And uh, it's pretty busy. It's like six o'clock. There's all these cars. They're going somewheres, man, and they need to get there quick, fast, and in a hurry. Or a hurry. A hurried hurry. But once and for all, I'm going to figure out where the fuck. Did you hear that echo? Fuck. <laughs> this Goodwill is. Do you know where the Goodwill is, man? Down, Down that way? Okay, so this is 10th. I don't think it's on 10th, man. I've even walked here before. And I still don't know. I still, it's like I refuse to under, uh, I refuse to remember, uh, I refuse to reputably ref, refute, uh, refuse to reboot, to reboot. I refuse to repute, to feut, to reboot. <laughs> you heard, you know what I mean, man? I refuse to repute the hoot, the scooter boot, doot, and life damn damn scooter, man, man. I refuse, refute that refusal. To the boodle and a boodle. And a boodle coodle boodle. <laughs> Alright. So anyway, as I was saying, I solemnly swear. That's right, buddy. I will find it if it's the last thing I ever do. But if it is the last thing I do, if it is the last thing I do, at least I'm gonna look good while I'm there and y'all how I look good. <laughs> Like Michael Jackson said, that, uh, you know, Michael Jackson said something that everybody should know. Ah, even if I don't. <laughs> oh! Yes, and to seriously be serious again, it is my great pleasure to present to you um, the life of a traveling musician man, a brown skin man, with a big Bushy beard. And he has rhythm. And he can sing. Sing a song. La 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 la. Okay. I don't know why I'm being so goofy right now, but I think it's better than being depressed. I'm like, fuck everybody, man. People suck, man. You know, I think it's a lot better to be happy than sad, but at the same time, a lot of wisdom comes from sadness. A lot of amazing things come out of sadness. Without sadness, I don't think there would be any love or joy, you know, or pleasure. So, and uh, I have, still have a lot of feelings. Even strongly today, I wanted to write some stuff down just about like how, how much I hope people understand when I talk about like the black race and how people are famous for talking about violence and for years and years and years and years. I remember growing up, we used to listen to Snoop Dogg, you know, Ice Cube, um, Red Man, Method Man, um, Ice T. I think he was like the first rapper that was like really, really violent. And then in Atlanta, Georgia, there was a lot of, when uh, Past Detroit came out, and then Lil John and the East Side Boys, and then you had Cash Money Brothers with Master P, and then you had uh, Three Six Mafia. I mean, and all of these people are famous, even Ludacris, you know, disturbing the peace. And they're all famous. <laughs> and all of them are talking about violence and drugs and disrespect to women and just fucking just like not giving a flying fuck. You know what I mean? And it's like, I know that there's something that people are aware of in the black community. I know people are just not, not, not like stupid. 
but when a black person can kill another black person <laughs> so easily and black people are famous for talking about it there's a problem that's a fucking problem man it's fucked up and it's fucked up that it's fucked up for me, man, as a black man, to be like, yep, that's my race, that's, that's, I belong, I have brown skin, so I am black, I am a black fucking man, I am, because, but I, man, I just, I really, really want people to, like, understand this, and to care, and to hope, hopefully, can make some changes. Hey. And hopefully I can get laid tonight. Ooh wee, that would be awesome. But um Yeah man, it's so fucking crazy man. There's so much more to be said than that man. Like I was I'm thinking of a scene in the movie Belly in the movie Belly where everybody's sitting where the uh, DMX is sitting with the other two young boys and uh, they're inside of a restaurant and then the, they get into an argument or something and then the one kid shoots the other kid and leaves and then DMX just stays there sitting down I mean just that alone in and, in and of itself is something that should be enough to raise like flags be like wait a minute okay how do we what do we do about this why is why are, and, and people, black people kill each other like that every day every single day with hatred you have to hate somebody to kill them you gotta fucking like hate them you know what i mean and all somebody did was just call him a pet faggot fuck you faggot is he gonna kill somebody for that i mean there was a time in this United States, there was a time here, man, where black on black violence was fucking unheard of, dude. You'd be like, what? You're talking about killing somebody for it? What the fuck is wrong with you? We work together, nigga. What? <laughs> I mean, black folks were under the most fucking most horrible like racial circumstances in this country and had to come together, man. And the music that came from black folks was so powerful and so positive and so beautiful. And the music that's coming out, man, about violence and killing and people looking up to these people like, Lil Wayne is a fucking idol? No, he's not. Lil Wayne's a... Lil Wayne! <laughs> no, man. Anyway, I'm at Goodwill. I found out where it is. That's just me ranting again. Um, man... Ah, uh, I just, all right, peace and love, guys, man, peace and love, for real.